Now in this question, two trains of unequal length have speed 60 and 50. Two trains are given, that speed are given 60, 50. When they travel in opposite direction, they take nine seconds to cross each other. Okay, so when they travel opposite, the time required to cross each other is nine seconds. And when they travel in same direction, they are saying, person in faster train see the slow train for 18 seconds. And now they are asking, for how much time would a person in slow train see the faster train when the train travel in same direction? So first, let's use this information. The speed of train is 60 and 50. When they travel in opposite direction, right? When they travel in opposite direction. The relative speed is S1 plus S2. The speed of this train, the speed of this train. That is 60 plus 50, which is 110 kilometer per hour. Kilometer per hour. The distance will be L1 plus L2. Distance will be L1 plus L2. Let's consider L1 is faster train, L2 is slower. Okay. And the time is 9 seconds. Okay. So let's use speed is equal to distance over time. So speed 110 is equal to distance L1 plus L2 over time 9. Problem. What is the problem? The time is in second and this is in kilometer per hour. So we need to convert into meter per second. Okay. So let me multiply this by 5 by 18. So this is meter per second. And this is L1 plus L2 divided by 9. So L1 plus L2 is equal to 110 times 5 by 18 times 9, 9 to 7, 18. Right? So you cancel this out. 55. Double of 50 is 100. Double of 5 is 10. So 55. 55 pi is up. So what you get is 270. So L1 plus L2, 275. That is one information. Okay. Now, second thing. When they travel in same direction, when they travel in same direction, so let's say this triangle train and this another train. They travel in same direction. Person in the faster train see the slower train for 18 seconds. So let's say that person can be anywhere in this train. Let's say it is engine driver. So this is the person. So this train is crossing this train. And this person see one end of train. Now this train crosses this train. At that time, this person will be here. And train will be somewhere around here. Correct. So we can say person in the faster train see the slower train. So in such case, the distance is nothing but length of the slower train. When person in the faster train see the slower train, distance in all such cases will be length of the slower train. Right. Okay. So, again, uh, in this case, distance is L2. Speed will be 60 minus 50. Relative speed, 60 minus 50, 10 kilometer per hour. And time, they have given 18 seconds. Time is 18 seconds. Again, we use the same thing. Speed is distance upon time. Yeah, distance is speed into time. Distance is L2. Speed is 10. You convert into meter per second, 5 by 18. Time, they have given very easy time, 18, so that you can cancel this out. So L2 is 50. Correct. So once you get L250 and L1 plus L2, 275, 
we can get L1. Right? So L1 is equal to 275 minus 50. Which is 225. So now we know length of both the tray. Now we know length of both the tray. 225 and 50. Right? Good. Now what they are asking? For how much time would a person in slower train see the person in faster train. So in this case, the distance will be length of the faster train. Time we want to find and speed will be n kilometer per hour. Correct? Because both are moving in the same direction. So time is equal to distance upon speed. Distance is 225. Speed is 10. You multiply 5 by 18 to convert into meter per second. Correct. So you simplify this. What do we get? 5. 4 are 20. 2 and 5. 5. 2 5 are 9 5 are 2 9 are 9 9 are 81. 81 second is the answer. So, 81 is the answer to this question. 